In this workbook, we have a column where you enter a country, and you can select that from a drop-down list. And in the next column, you select a city, and based on the country that you've selected in the first column, you'll see a list of cities for that country. And this is done with data validation in Excel. And to do this, on this worksheet, we have our country list set up, but we don't have any data validation yet for the city. So I'm going to select all the cells where we want the data validation to go. And on another sheet, I have my list of countries, and that is named countries. And then I created a list of USA cities and named it USA. And here's the list of Canadian cities named Canada. So these range names are an exact match for the list of countries. So now on this sheet, the cells are selected for data validation. And I'm going to click data validation. And on the settings tab, I'm going to select list. And for the source, we're going to use a function called indirect. So I'll type an equal sign in direct and an open bracket. And an indirect function creates a reference to a range that's named with a text string. So we want it to find the range that is the same name as the text string in cell A2. So I'm going to type A2. So the list in B2, which is the active cell right now, should be based on whatever we put in A2. And I'm going to click OK. So now there's a drop-down list of USA cities. There's nothing selected here yet, so this list doesn't work because there's no range with no name. As soon as I select Canada here, now the indirect function is looking for a range with the same name as the text string we have here. So here's the list called Canada. And if we want something to appear when we click this arrow on a cell where there's nothing in the cell beside it, we could change the formula slightly to create a drop-down based on a different range. So on the list sheet, I have another range here called World. So if someone hasn't selected USA or Canada, I would like them to see the list of world countries. So I'm going back to our data entry sheet and select all the cells for city and click data validation. I'm going to change this formula. I'll start with if and an open bracket. And I wanted to check if A2 is empty. So I'll type A2 equals and then two double quotes to represent an empty string, which means there's nothing in that cell. And then a comma. So if A2 is empty, I would like to see the list called world. So oops, I'll just type world here and a comma. And then go right to the end and put a closing bracket. So if A2 is empty, show me the world list. Otherwise, use the indirect function to show the range that has the name that appears in cell A2. And I'll click OK. So now nothing has changed here. We still see the Canada list, but there's nothing in this cell now. When I click, I see the world list. So we use dependent data validation to create a drop down list in one cell based on what appears in an adjacent cell.